it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Santino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the From Cobb County, Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from SunTrust Park. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. Almost time for these two to square off right after this. Julio Tehran, the Colombian native, gets the call to start this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, his last three outings have been, I'd say, inconsistent. They haven't been good. His ERA is over four, just giving up too many runs. And when you give up that many runs, you're not going to win games. So striding in, Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Here comes the payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next 3 2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Once again, a 3 2. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. A payoff pitch one more time. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The next three two. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. This is turned into quite an at bat. That's five foul balls. He's seen a lot of pitches. Now this is popped up behind the plate for Flowers. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Well, Matt, the bats have just gone cold. There's no other way to put it. I mean, the last three or four games, they've really struggled to score runs. I'm interested in seeing how do they turn that around in this game because the nucleus of this club and this lineup, they should be scoring runs. Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. And we're just underway from Sun Trust Park. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Well, the way I see Ed, he gets a lot of respect for his strike zone. There's not a lot. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And this might be the kind of A-B that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. Standing in, Yoenis Cespedes. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which sits third best in the National League. Go, 
two and one. H these Braves as they take the field here tonight. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Well, everybody's hyped. The crowd is hyped. The players were hyped. And the beauty of the night game when the ace is throwing gives people all day. This town has been buzzing talking about him being on the mound tonight. I'm excited to watch him throw. Well, that was an impressive swing. A fastball is able to hit a foul ball home run with it, but it got out in front of it a little bit too much. Timing just a tad off. Here's another 2 2. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. 3 and 2. We're seeing a good AB here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Batting four. Riding into the 21. box, Lucas Duda. Lucas. He enters play Duda. hitting in the 260s for the year. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Cabrera rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early one nothing advantage. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, he's not fooling anybody so Nothing's far, Matt. Like you said, Perfect. that's the Number second five. double he's given David. up here. And right. if he doesn't get things figured out, it's going to be a real short outing. Into the box now, David Wright. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And he takes a called strike two. Two down, runners at first and second. Dribbled to the right side. And the pitcher will just run over and take this one himself, and the inning is over. The Mets get one on this swing by Lucas Duda. Bottom of the first coming up from Sun Trust Park. It's one nothing Mets. Noah Sindergaard. A right hander from the state of Texas is the man on the mound here. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches right. Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has he'll be in pretty good shape. Here's Ender Inciarte. He also had three hits in the win last night. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And another foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Another one sent foul. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Payoff pitch one more time. Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Another payoff pitch. Hold high in the air out to right field. Bruce has a read on it. Makes the play one away. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Harold, what's the key to continuing the winning streak? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, 
and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. At the plate, Brandon Phillips. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Batting third. First baseman. Here's the first baseman Freddie, Freddie Freeman. He's currently Freeman. tied for second place on the team in home runs. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. I'll tell you. There was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Again, he sends it out of play. Man, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. The 2 2 one more time. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. We'll move on to the second now at SunTrust Park. The Mets lead it one to nothing. So striding forward now, Jay Bruce. And he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. The two and one on its way. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Sean Rodriguez will come in as the new third the baseman now following now the injury. Third base, number 15, Sean Rodriguez. At the plate, Travis Darnot. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. The 1-1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. He's running towards second. Hit back up the middle. A quick out number one. All right, here's how the Braves line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking out there at Matt Kemp. Talk about a great athlete. You know, Matt Kemp played most of his career in center field, then made the transition to right. But he grew up as a basketball player and really became a good baseball player when the Dodgers drafted him. Coming to the plate now, Noah Syndergaard. And with a runner already in scoring position and one away, he is likely not to be bunting here. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. Softly hit out to short. Pro gets him, two down. Digging in to try it again. Curtis Granderson, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 2 1 now to Granderson. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. As Dribble Cabrera would be next. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Shoots this one over to first. And on to first with it is Freeman, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Mets one, and the Braves nothing. So here's Matt Kemp now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Three base hits in 19 tries. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. 
Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Well, that was a good pitch right there and a good job of spoiling it too. Ready with another 0 2. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Don Kemp fails to connect there as this is cut on and missed for the first out of the inning. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Into the box now, Nick Markakis. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Hey, he's really on a roll right Having now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts Third, to wrap up the last inning, Sean. and now he started this Rodriguez. frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Into the box, Sean Rodriguez. Hey. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. That's Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. So tough to lay off that pitch he just missed on. That's a sweeping slider. You got two strikes. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Here now is this dribble Cabrera. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really froze him. Good breaking ball. And this is fouled at the plate. He'll try again, one, two. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Now here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And this will be out of reach for Phillips at second. It's a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. So he's aboard well, again with his second 50, hit of the game yeah. here in the top of the Yo, third. Wait. And that'll bring us to our Mets leaderboard. And as you can see, he's currently second on the ball club in that department. Here's Juana Cespedes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a called strike on the curveball. 1 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready on one and two. On the move again from first. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Markakis looks up. Gone! It's a two run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. Home run number 15 for him thus far, and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Here's Lucas Duda now. 
An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Hey. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Here's the one and two delivery. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass, hits a base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. That was an impressive single, but more impressive was the play of the left fielder. He cut the ball off, got it back in, and they keep the double play in order, giving that pitcher a chance to get out of this inning. In now, David Wright. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Well, I don't know what he was sitting on right there, but that's the pitch you want. You're heading the count, and you get a fastball right there, middle end. I don't know. I'd have had a swing at that. Kemp has a read on it. He's got it one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ready for another chance? Neil Walker. Neil for one Walker. for him here in this one. Runner at first here, one man out. Aye. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. On, He's set, and the one-two pitch. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So he's in safely there following the one out steal of second and with that we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year and you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category hoping to send him packing pitch on its way now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate that's a nice pitch right there he threw him a breaking ball comes back with the fastball and now he's late now he doesn't know how to adjust he's kind of caught in between you got him set up perfectly. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. That was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Swinging a soft liner. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball oh, has some top spin on it. But he's on James the full run Brooks. and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Standing in now, Jake Bruce pulled toward right center field. Kemp on the run. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. We play two and a half. It's 3-0 New York. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Set to deal on two and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw and he's called out on a close play at first. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Mine to the right side. And that's the first hit in this one for the Braves. Now that's a nice base hit right there. Don't overlook this guy just because he's down at the Andy bottom Knight. of the order. He's a pretty Andrew. good hitter. Julio. Hey, Stepping in now, Julio Tehran. Now a bunt attempt here. To second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. 
Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box, Ender Inciarte. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Riding in once again, Brandon Phillips. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Well, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but I tell you what, he does as good a job as anybody. First and second, two outs. Now watch how he pitches on the corners and tries to get himself out of this. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Ready with the one and two. Back up the middle. Throw to first is going to be in time, and the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. Two left for Atlanta. They trail it here three to nothing. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Ball three. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. In the air now, out to left. Markek is on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. Stepping in and ready Noah for another shot. Syndergaard. Noah Syndergaard comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. On its way is pitch number 75. Nope. Can't okay. catch the corner away with the fastball. It's 2 and 1. <laughs> 2 1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike 2. Three runs, six hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. And the throw forces the first baseman to leave his feet. And by the time he came down, it's too late. Wow, great hustle from the pitcher right there to beat up that infield single. I'm just curious, will it wear him out now when he gets back on the mound next half inning? In now, Curtis Granderson. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. The 0-2 once more. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. Hot shot on the ground is short. A toss to Phillips for the force out, and that'll end the inning. Mets leave one, but they lead it 3 nothing. With Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Freddie Freeman settles in to start out the inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Line toward right center. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. And the Braves have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the back head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double.
So here's Matt Kemp now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Uh, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Well, that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. He wanted to spin the win right there and knock one as far as he could. He got the off-speed pitch inside, and he pulled off of it. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Matt Kemp the becomes the first out 22. in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nick Markakis. Digging in, Nick Markakis. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And that's going to fall for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. So digging in now, Sean Rodriguez. One in, one out, and one on here in the end. Ready with the one and one. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To Cabrera for one. Back to Duda. A double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Joanna Cespedes comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase him up out of the zone. John Danks is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Lucas Duda will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Pitch outside the throw. Thought about going for second but instead now they've got him in a pickle and they'll run him down and tag him for the out. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Flowers has it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. The third baseman Digging in once again, David Wright. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Now here it comes. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And Ciarte is there. And the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. As the lead remains three to one. Here now is the catcher Tyler Flowers comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Swing and a looper to left. Cespedes over to his right. Makes the play one away. So yet seven. another strong Stop. outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA and as you see there he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in a base hit in his first trip. From the windup the one one pitch takes this the other way to right and that falls in for a solid base hit his second of the night. 
And he'll reach second now with one away. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Kurt Suzuki will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 24, Kurt Suzuki. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's another one two. And a fastball is hit on the ground toward short. Cabrera's up with it on the first and Suzuki's retired two away. Here's Ender Inciarte. A hit in two tries so far. Two out here and a runner at second. Dribbled up the line. That's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Brandon Phillips would be next if they can keep this inning alive. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Here comes Granderson. He can't get to it. This one's down. And to score, the runner from second. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning, and he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. Standing in now, Brandon Phillips. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're one and two, and you showed him the high fastball. And this is going to find the alley here. Extra bases for Phillips. Inciarte is on his way home. The tying run comes around all the way from first to score. It's a 3 3 game. Baseman number five, Freddie Freeman. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Ready for another shot now. Matt Kemp, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Hit hard back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 4 to 3 game. Oh, ground ball up the middle. That's going to score a run right there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull the ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle and pay the. Into the box, Nick Markakis looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So three runs on four base hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Braves four and the Mets three. You're Chaz Rowe takes over to start the sixth the inning on the mound. Number 51, Chaz Rowe. Here's Neil Walker. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Walker will take the turn here and look for second now. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was right able fielder. to get it over the right James fielder's head. Brooks. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat.
both teams with eight hits in this one. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Kemp ranging back. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. Throw won't get him. Now batting, catcher. Travis. Ready once Darno. again, Travis Darno, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. It? He was definitely pitcher. pitching for it with no a one. runner on third and one out and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Jose Reyes will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at third. Sliced hard down the left field line and this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 4-4 game. Lachey's are oh, around for a reason and that hit Try right there it. is a reason Curtis they say baseball Randerson. is a game of inches right just barely fair but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound nice RBI two bagger. Spin and a throw back to second. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. In now, Curtis Granderson. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Takes a knee high fastball. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Seared down the first baseline. And this is right by Freeman down the line. It's a fair ball. And that'll score the go-ahead run from second to make it five to four. And he is in there. The shortstop number 13 as Drupal Cabrera. Standing in now as Drupal Cabrera. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Now that's that old school slider right there, trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a the cutter. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, and that is off the wall in right field. And that'll add an insurance run there from second to make this a 6-4 game now. Joanna Cespedes will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at this two-run homer that had him rolling early on.
one and one. Here it is. And that one right down Main Street. Ready to deliver the one and two. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out. And he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. He's set. Here's the three and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Markakis. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. So three runs on four hits. No errors and a man left on. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Mets six and the Braves four. Hansel Robles enters to do the pitching, now, pitching in the bottom the of the Packers. sixth. Number 47, Hansel Robles. Digging in once again, Sean Rodriguez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Another one-two delivery. A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One and two, here it comes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Set to deal on two and two. Cabrera there for this one at short. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now batting. Catcher. Ready for another Tyler. chance. Tyler Flowers. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Nope, and ball. the changeup is way low that time. Two, on the count. two balls and a strike. Here it is. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Back-to-back -back change up and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. Soft liner towards first. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. The number seven, shortstop. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Down in order go the Braves. Score remains steady at six to four. Back here at SunTrust Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Blaine Boyer plate. will come on to pitch He's now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double the switch spot. here. Number Jace Peterson. Will Blaine also come on Boyer. now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order the here on that double number switch. Eight, Jace Peterson. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Into the box now, David Wright. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. 
Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Stepping in now, Neil Walker takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Kemp going back and just short of a home run. This ball's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Wow, he puts a serious him? charge into right this fielder. ball. Ends up Jay splitting the two outfielders. Bruce bangs up against the wall in right center and he cruises into second knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. Into the box Jay Bruce and misses badly on a pitch down in the dirt. I don't know Matt look here he fell behind three one now I'm looking at the on deck circle that's just a better matchup. There's no need to give in let this guy hurt you when you can go after that other guy who you got a chance to get out. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Striding into the box, Jace Peterson. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Well, they've hung around. I know it's late in the game, but that's a big lead off single. Maybe this will be what they need to get to start that attack to put them ahead. Here's Ender Inciarte. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out, and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Here's Brandon Phillips. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Granderson will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. The first baseman, number five. Freeman. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Your attention, please. Now so they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Edging. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. To Cabrera for one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Mets bullpen able to stem the tide. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Mets out in front, six to four. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Whip. 
reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Right to Phillips. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting the pitcher, Josh Edgen. Michael Conforto will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Swing and a line drive. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just and did not care. If you hit the ball hard, I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. Standing in now, Curtis Granderson. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Here's the one and two. There goes the runner. Pitch outside. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is going to be a foul ball. One out and a runner on second base. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Arotis Vizcaino gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. As Dribble Cabrera will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Runners are at first and second with one away. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's the one and two delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Yoannis Cespedes. In now, Yoannis Cespedes. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Bases are loaded with only one out. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Marquecas has the catch, and here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Hey, that's a spot 21. right there as a pitcher where Lucas. you'll trade in out for a run anytime. Base is loaded, and only one run scores on the sacrifice fly. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. And oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. This is line to left. But he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Nearly trouble, but instead, the inning is over. Max forced to settle for one here in the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead this one 7-4. Addison Reed. Please. 
is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Patterson Reed. So here's Matt Kemp now. Career history with Addison Reed. He's gone four for nine. The one two pitch. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. Now another one two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. One and two. Here it comes. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Two out nobody on. Hit hard towards the hole and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. Here now is the catcher Tyler Flowers and Dan this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah Matt at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Meanwhile now this is a drive out the straightaway right field and it's going to get out of here a home run. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year as it's now a one-run game, seven to six now. I love a team that keeps fighting with two outs like they did here. The previous batter gets on board with a single and his teammate does even better with an absolute bomb. That's good baseball. Yonier Mustelier will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. To short. Throw in time and the side is retired. The two in the inning for Atlanta both coming on this two run home run. On to the ninth inning from SunTrust Park. It's the Mets seven and the Braves six. Josh Colmenter enters from the now pen to start the, the ninth rain. inning as he'll try Number to keep the score right where it is heading Josh. to the bottom of the ninth. Colmenter. Leading off the inning, David Wright as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Here it comes on one and one. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's the one and two delivery. Tap down the line. That rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. He'll try again, one, two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Smoke toward third. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Well, they came in this half inning hoping they could add some insurance to their lead. Nothing better than getting that first guy on to get things going.
stepping in now. Neil Walker. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Marcakis has a read on it. One down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The right fielder number 19. So a runner at first Jay now with one away. Bruce. And that'll bring in the right fielder Jay Bruce. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Ready to deliver the one and two. Lifted in the air to center field. In Ciarte's there. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Digging in to try it again. Travis Darno. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And that's a fair ball as this will rattle up into the corner. They'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second. Well, that base hit right there gives them a two-run cushion. When you oh, have a two-run cushion late in the game, Petra. you got to feel pretty good Anderson. about yourself. Three. Juan Ligaris will get the Benjamin call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 12, Juan Ligaris. Two out with the man at first. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. In his career against this pitcher, seven hits in 14 tries. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion. Now a swing and a fly ball. Kemp on the run, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The 3 2 one more time. Swinging a fly ball right down the line and left. Marcakis has a read on it, and that's the third out. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The Mets lead it 8 to 6. Jerry's familiar takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking number to close the door. Jerry's familiar. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jace Peterson. He'll lead it off against Jerry's familiar, who'll try to close the door in this one. Here's the one-one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bruce going back on it at the track but he can't get it as it's off the wall around second now and this ball still hasn't been fielded and the Braves are going to like this they've got a man at third on a leadoff triple and in the ninth inning every team's goal is to bring that tying run to the plate and he does that here but I got to tell you a single or a double would have done the trick too that was risky trying to stretch that thing but it ended up working out in the end. So a big moment in the ball game here. Ender and Ciarte. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Weak roller right side. Throw on to first to be in time, but meanwhile the lead shrinks to one here on the RBI ground ball. Hey, a simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. 
Here's Brandon Phillips. Lifetime against Familia. One for four. Fly ball out toward left center field. Cespedes will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Ready, Freeman. Stepping into the box, Freddie Freeman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that right. seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Into the box now, Matt Kemp. Swinging a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. And if you're the so manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight, so they live to fight some more. And ball four here on the intentional walk. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw to first is in time. They got him, and the ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. New York get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Noah Syndergaard earned his ninth win of the year. Jerry's Familia wraps it up for the save, his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Eight runs on 16 hits. No errors. Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and Dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow!